Hello and welcome back to Here We Tow. Today it's something a little bit different. We're at the Motorhome Showroom at Warminster and we're looking at the McLuie Fusion. It's the 373G we're going to look at. If you don't know much about McLuie, they're a sideline to auto sleepers, which are a well-known motorhome company. The McLuie range offers affordable motorhoming to families and couples. So we're going to have a look around this one. It's got single beds and as you can see, it costs £55,000. So if you want to know more about this motorhome, stay with us and join us after this. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action, what we can be. Life with no distractions, we'll get away. This is what we waited for. So, what might you want to know about this motorhome? As we can see, it's on the Fiat chassis. That's a 2.3 litre diesel engine, a manual gearbox, and it has 130 brake horsepower. This motorhome is just under 7.5 metres in length. And if you're interested in weights, it comes in at 3,650 kilos. However, the important thing to note is with the McLuis, you can have them underrated, so they weigh in at three and a half tons, or you could have it upplated to 4.4 tons if you want that additional payload. So there really is great flexibility. I'm no expert on motorhomes, as you know. However, I'm keen to have a look at this because of what it offers in this price range. So let's have a look around. This model has on it a Lux pack and it also has a winter pack. In that Lux pack, one thing we're going to get here are the alloy wheels. So we'll have a look around the exterior of the motorhome and then bob inside because for the money, to be fair, it's a really nice motorhome. So come on, let's have a little look around. So let's have a quick look at what we're getting for our money. As we can see, we've got the window in the door and you also get fly screens, which I always like. As we head down the side, there isn't an awning already on this motorhome, so you would have to have that additionally if it's something you wanted. We've got the toilet cassette point here, which obviously suggests this is where the bathroom's going to be on this model. We have the electric hookup point, and here we've got entry into the garage. To be fair, it's a really good sized garage across the whole range. Here at the back of the Fusion, it's quite simple, We've already got preparation here for a bike rack and we also have the reversing camera up there. So, not a bad back end. The near side of the Fusion, again, we have a nice simple side, plenty of windows letting light in inside and we've got the water point here. I believe the onboard water tank on this will hold 115 litres and the waste 135. That's quite a lot of water. So we'll venture inside. On the door, which opens outwards obviously, there is a nice little bin, which I always like a bin, and there's two steps in. There isn't an electric step on this one, so if you wanted a step fitting you could probably do that, if not you just have to have a manual one that you put outside. So we'll clamber in and have a look inside. Once we come inside, there's a lovely cap. I must say, the leather seats draw me in. It's cream leather, which over time that may mark and wear, so you'd have to clean that up a bit. The two seats swivel, the cab's ahead of us, and then it, there's the L-shaped sofa there, and a small seat here. To be fair, this motorhome is a four berth, but it will seat five people with the seat belts. There's a fantastic table here, and there is plenty of room for a couple or a family to enjoy this space. Up ahead, we have a drop down bed, and that'll give sleeping accommodation to two more people, as well as the two single beds at the back. Above the cab, there's a large sunroof, which does let in plenty of light. With having the drop down bed ahead, there isn't the facility for a sunroof there. So overall, this front seating space is really pleasant, plenty of room, storage above, can't really fault it. 
I think now we'll head to the kitchen which is generally my favourite place. So here we are in the compact kitchen of the McLuhan Fusion. To the near side of the motorhome we have a good sized sink, plenty of worktop space here and also a Thetford three ring gas burner hob. There isn't a microwave on this one however there is a small oven and that's a Dometic one and it's just here to my right hand side. Underneath that, there's a fantastic fridge and freezer unit. It's absolutely huge. And you know I like my fridges and freezers. There's ample space to put plenty of food for a full week, I'd say, in there. Also, a really generous freezer compartment. Probably one of the biggest I've seen. So if you like frozen food, you'd be well away with this motorhome. There's plenty of storage as well. The storage up here in this overhead locker for your plates and cutlery and bits and pieces. If you're short like me, you probably won't get much use out of that top shelf. The kitchen has a nice window overlooking it. There's a blind on here, as well as fly screens. The blinds are easy to operate and nicely finished also in a creamy color. The storage under here, under the sink and the oven There's plenty of storage as well under the sink and the hob. One thing I like about the cupboard here when I open it up is not only is it deep and goes all the way back, there's this fantastic little pull out shelf. Brilliant for putting things like bread, vegetables, fruit, things like that so they don't fly around while you're driving. As you know I don't cook much in the uh, caravan but if I was cooking in the motorhome a good thing about this is under here there is an extractor so those smells will get drawn out and there's also a plug socket under here if you like an electric kettle or a toaster or coffee machine you'll be able to plug it in here and keep it on there so you've got all bases covered really in this small but compact kitchen right I think we've seen enough of the kitchen let's head back to the bedroom so we've headed into the bedroom area at the back of the motorhome. I've got a shower cubicle to my left and I've got the toilet and wash basin to my right. What I like about this is if I open the toilet door, it closes there and separates properly the living space to the bedroom space. And that's something I like. It's almost like you've got two separate parts then. Before I come to the toilet and the shower, we'll just look at the bedroom. It's a really good space. I appreciate this is a seven and a half metre motorhome, so it is fairly long, but the single beds will be perfect for anyone, probably up to about six foot two or three, no problem at all. There's also a centre cushion. So if you're a couple who does actually like some intimacy, you can still have that once that cushion's in there. To get up to the bed, just up a couple of steps and on your jump. If you have mobility issues, again, that's something for you to think about. There's plenty of storage in the bedroom. There's three cupboards up here, and then there's cupboards under each bed. They're really deep, and there's plenty of room in there for all your clothes and towels and things like that. There's also quite a funky little storage box just down here. I'd imagine that'd be a good space for things like shoes. The bedroom also has a television point just up here to the right. So if you like to watch telly in bed, you're not going to miss out. And there's plenty of lights as well situated above the head. So if you like to read in bed, you're going to have no problem. It's a really nice bedroom and it's got a nice feel about it. What we'll do now is we'll just have a quick look at the shower, which is to the near side of the motorhome. The shower cubicle is a generous size. It does impose onto the wheel arch of the motorhome, so it does take some space out on the floor. That being said, it's a good size cubicle. As you can see, there's a light in there as well, which is operated by a switch. The shower curtain draws across nicely, and there's a tray as well for putting your soap or your shower gels. So there we go, that's a, a nice little compact shower. Let's have a look in this toilet and washroom. So this is the toilet and washroom. The toilet's Thetford, 
There's a lovely sink and there's a toothbrush holder and soap dish. That is the one thing I always seem to miss out on when I look at these caravans and motorhomes. Somewhere to put my toothbrush. So they've got it covered here. The top cupboard's really useful for toiletries and there's a three pin plug socket in there. So for ladies you can plug in your hair dryer or your hair straighteners. That's quite well thought out. There's a nice mirror space and there's also a hook to bob your towel on. So as it goes a really good little washroom. So I think we've covered all the bits we wanted to see. Let's pop up to the front and just go through what this motorhome offers. So there we have it, the McLouis Fusion 373G. A twin bed motorhome, just under £55,000, 7.5 metres long, Truma airblown heating, cruise control, air conditioning in the cab, leather seats for berth. What more do you want? If you're looking at spending that sort of money on a large motorhome, you probably won't go far wrong with this. It's on the Fiat cabin chassis, so it's well tested and it offers value for money. You could quite happily head off with this and enjoy some fantastic trips and holidays. So hopefully you've enjoyed a bit of a look round with us and as always, we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.